Hey friends, it's Em here with the Mom Edit, and today I am going to bring you a swimsuit review. It is a little bit different from your standard because all of the swimsuits that I'm going to be reviewing today are focused on flattering and uneven bust line. I know that seems very specific. It's a, an issue that I've experienced for a while now. About six years ago, I had a single mastectomy and then single reconstruction of my right breast. Since then, my left breast has gone through weight loss, weight gain, um, pregnancy, breastfeeding. I'm still kind of on the tapering end of breastfeeding a babe. So my boobs are, for lack of a better word, lopsided. They are different fullness, different firmness, different heights. So I was like struggling this past season. Um, usually I'm not super bothered by this. I think I've kind of just come to peace with it. But for whatever reason, I was looking in the mirror and thinking, there's gotta be something better. So I set out to try to find a suit that flatters an uneven bust. My requirements were that it not be a suit that employ any type of padding or prosthetic or chicken cutlet type things. There's a couple of brands out there that do specify in suits that are beautifully designed to accommodate a prosthesis. So this is not that review. This is a review of just your run of the mill suit that happens to be cut in such a way or designed in such a way or features details that downplay maybe some uneven fullness in your breast. Okay. The first suit that I'm gonna to talk to you about today is what I consider to be my number one favorite suit out of the entire haul. It might have something to do with the fact that it was the only one piece I tried, but it also just has a lot of pretty details that make it look really elevated and high end. And those details also detract from any unevenness in the bust area. So this is the suit. I think it's, uh, it might be just at $50. I got it on Amazon. The thing I love about this suit is there's this asymmetrical ruffle that comes down the front. There is like decent amount of support in the straps. There are cups that are removable lining it, but the asymmetry of this ruffle does a great job of masking any un unevenness up top. And then there is this cutout here, which although I'm not typically super drawn to cutouts in my most, let's call it squishy soft, area, cuddly, my cuddliest area. I didn't find an issue with it. I thought that it was still flattering. And the cutout here balances out the fullness of the ruffle design here, which is admittedly kind of a lot of fabric. And then this one's got quite the cheeky rear, a little cheekier than most that I would typically wear. But again, because the overall cut of the suit is quite modest, I think that the cheekiness is actually quite welcome. It's got adjustable straps. The quality is great. The texture of this kind of like pop stickery <laughs> shaped, ruffled, dual ruffle item is really great. It's stiff enough that it feels like it's gonna maintain its structure and it's not gonna just lose all of its structure and ruffles in the wash, even if you were to hand wash it. Or actually, I think this one, this was machine washed recently. We just came back from vacation and I just tossed it in the wash. So it's held up through that, but it's also soft enough that if you were to swim in it or do some type of activity, it's not gonna be like a straight up fin on your torso. So this is my number one most flattering swimsuit for an uneven bust under 50 bucks. Number two, this is another Amazon find. Actually, these two are from the same brand. It's, you can see on this one, Spore-like. Never heard of this brand before, but the quality is surprisingly high and the designs just feel really elevated. This one's maybe a little bit Stevie Nicks-ish. The, the black ruffles. I was drawn to it because I wanted something where I thought maybe the ruffles would kind of detract a little bit from any unevenness in the top. And I don't know if the ruffles actually detract from the fullness or not masking anything, but the fact that this suit is so dramatic on, I feel like is what kind of detracts from anything else. Any other, any other areas that you might want to detract from on your bod, the ruffles up top are where all eyes will be. I haven't swam with this one yet. I haven't actually gotten in the water, but as you can see here, the ruffles are kind of this structured, but not too structured. There's no wire in here. It's not a wired ruffle or anything. I think that they'll hold up just fine when wet. I honestly do, and the reviews for it were great. It's just so cute and dramatic on, and I feel like with the ruffles, you could almost get away with wearing this as like a super crop top under an overall, or if you had uh, a linen coverall type cover up for the beach, that would be super, super cute. These come with high rise bottom that has ruching on the sides and they're modest, modest in terms of coverage. 
Not a full coverage bum, but definitely not super, super cheeky. If you like a high rise bottom, I'm actually a little torn. I typically like a lower rise bottom, but so many of the suits that I gravitate toward where you have to buy the top and bottoms together, maybe a retro inspired or have some type of vintage styling. So they always come with a higher rise brief style. As far as I'm concerned, these are not bad. They don't necessarily do anything for my shape, but they're flattering enough and they would be great for activity. If you're running around on the beach, they're not gonna like ride up. They're not gonna slip down if you're doing sports, water slides, things like that. So this is my second fave when it comes to swimsuits that flatter an uneven bust, also on Amazon, also under $50. Number three, even though I clearly always gravitate toward neutrals and specifically black for swimsuits, I could not deny this flirty little red striped item that has ruffles across the top and you can wear it as a bandeau or you can wear it with a strap attached. I'm going to say that I was shying away initially from stripes because if anything, stripes just drop so much attention to asymmetry, but I think the volume of the ruffle on this one really works. Can you still tell that one boob is bigger than the other? Probably. If anyone is looking that closely, I mean, honestly, screw them. I think this one is cute enough and flirty enough and would be adorable regardless of your boob situation to mention. So um, it made the cut for me. And I always love a bandeau style because if you are looking to get a little sun on your shoulders, you don't have any tan lines, but then this one has the uh, halter strap. So if you need a little bit more support, it's fine. For swimming in, this was fine. I didn't do like beach volleyball in it or anything, but I think that for swimming in, it's, it's absolutely adequate. And it also has metal hardware on the back, which I have not had an issue with coming undone yet. It feels like it's well made and it's gonna hang in there. I just really liked the vintage styling of it. And this one also has structured cups that you can, not underwire, but foam cups that you can remove. I typically keep foam cups in swimsuits just for modesty, but because this one has the ruffle, I think you could absolutely get rid of them if those are not your thing, if you don't like laying on the concrete and having your cups ring themselves out into two little boot-shaped discs on the pavement. If that's not your deal, then by all means, take them out. So as I mentioned before, when you get a vintage style swimsuit, oftentimes they come with a high-rise bottom, these bottoms are absolutely adorable in terms of the different directions that the stripes go. Again, I don't just I don't love high-rise bottoms on me, but as far as high-rise bottoms go, these are pretty good. Overall, super great, easy, would be so fun for summer, like 4th of July, barbecues, things like that, swimsuit, and again, on Amazon, and under 50 bucks.